Dan Walker has shared his views on the latest tension in Afghanistan, claiming the billions plowed into helping Afghan soldiers has crumbled. As tensions across Afghanistan continue to rise with the Taliban taking control of almost all cities, Dan Walker has shared his thoughts following a trip to the country several years ago. It comes after the Taliban have surrounded the capital city, Kabul, reclaiming the country following the withdrawal of international soldiers. The Taliban are currently continuing their push for power across Afghanistan as they enter the capital city, Kabul. Recently, the group said in a statement they do not plan to take Kabul by force while gunfire was heard in the capital city. It was confirmed by an Afghanistan official that negotiators for the Taliban were heading to the country's presidential palace in order to prepare for a transfer of power. Just hours ago, it was announced that Afghanistan President Ashraf Ghani had fled the country after resigning from his position. The Taliban are currently continuing their push for power across Afghanistan as they enter the capital city, Kabul. Recently, the group said in a statement they do not plan to take Kabul by force while gunfire was heard in the capital city. It was confirmed by an Afghanistan official that negotiators for the Taliban were heading to the country's presidential palace in order to prepare for a transfer of power. Just hours ago, it was announced that Afghanistan President Ashraf Ghani had fled the country after resigning from his position. Dan, 44, flew to Afghanistan for a special edition of Football Focus with the British Armed Forces, as well as recording a special edition of BBC Radio 5 Live. Joined by Kevin Kilban and John Hartson, the group flew into the UK's largest military base, Camp Bastion in Helmand Province. Now, Dan has shared his views on the ongoing tensions, claiming that the funds used to help Afghan soldiers has gone to waste. It comes as the country prepares to hand over power to the Taliban following a 20-year occupation of the country. In view of his 722,800 Twitter followers, Walker penned, When we were in Afghanistan in 2013 I remember being told about the billions of dollars and thousands of hours spent training the Afghan Guard to resist the Taliban in the future. That costly resistance seems to have crumbled in a matter of weeks. However, his post appeared to receive a mixed response as many of his followers took to the reply section. So sad. The people of Afghanistan have been hung out to dry. Shame on the Western governments. It'll come back to haunt us all soon enough, said one. While a second added, we trained them to fight using US and UK weaponry. Then took it all away. What do you expect them to fight back with? It's heartbreaking, all seems one big waste of money, time but more importantly, lives. Absolutely shocking and seems to be an even more shocking misjudgment from those involved in strategic planning, type to third. Before a fourth added, sickening how easy they folded pal.
It's a real disrespect to all the sacrifices others made for the Afghan people. On Friday, General Sir Nick Carter, the chief of the defense staff, revealed that al-Qaeda terrorists are fighting alongside Taliban militants, with thousands of innocent civilians fleeing brutality and misery across the country. Around 600 British troops have been deployed to help up to 4,000 British embassy personnel, translators and other personnel that might be at risk, including security guards, for a safe return to Britain later this month. Those leaving Afghanistan will be using commercial airliners but there are plans in place to use military aircraft should services be suspended or local airports come under attack. The Taliban have since confirmed that they have reached Kabul following the news that Afghan troops have surrendered Bagram Air Base to the Taliban. The base is home to a prison housing 5,000 inmates. Meanwhile, Dominic Rav will jet back to the UK following his summer holiday in a bid to spearhead the UK's response. Boris Johnson has announced that Parliament, who are on summer recess, will be recalled on Wednesday, August 18. 